In this video, I will introduce Docker, Docker Compose, and Portainer. Docker is something that some future videos will depend on. Let's go to their official website for Debian. PyOS is based on Debian. But Raspberry Pi cannot use the repository method. You will need to scroll down. There is a convenient script. You can simply copy the command for downloading the setup shell script that's logging to Raspberry Pi. Paste the command and run the script. After the installation, uh, you need to use this command to change your group, to add yourself into Docker group. The installation failed because I forgot to update my package repository. So you need to run apt get update before installing Docker with a sudo. Now let's install Docker again. The installation is now finished. If we run Docker, we can see some comments and their uh, functions. When I run Docker PS, I got permission denied because I'm not in the Docker group. Of course, I can use sudo to run the command, but that's not safe. Uh, the best practice is to uh, use this command and add myself to the Docker group. If we look at the group, we see that this is Docker and I'm not in this group. So let me run this command. The username is pi. Then let's check the group again. Now pi is in the Docker group. Then we need to log out and back in for this to take effect. Now if we run docker ps, it should work. The next step is to install uh, docker compose. The installation is very straightforward, just pasting the command. Docker compose is a tool that makes docker easier to use. Uh, it can start many services in a single command. While installing uh, Docker Compose, let's open Portainer. Portainer is a graphical interface that you can use to interact with Docker so that you don't have to deal with so many commands. You can just use your browser to control the Docker on your machine. The restart equals always option means that the Portainer container will always restart uh, even when the machine reboots. Let me verify the Docker Compose command. It's not working and I will need to log in again. Now it works. Next, let's install uh, the portainer. Uh, let's create a volume first and then run this container. Docker will put the images from Docker Hub. After the container starts to run, uh, we can access uh, the graphical interface on port 9000 from browser. Now if we run Docker images, we can see uh, the images we pull from Docker Hub. So if we run Docker PS, you can see that the portainer container is running and two ports are mapped. Port 8000 and 9000 of the Portainer container is mapped to port 8000 and 9000 of Raspberry Pi. So now if we go to uh, the IP address and port 9000, we can see the Portainer graphical interface. By default, the username is admin and you can initialize your password. I had some problem getting the portainer to work, but 
uh, we can restart the container. So we can use Docker PS to find the container and Docker container restart and passing the container ID. After restarting the container, uh, it should work. Let me refresh, enter the password. Okay, now it's working. Since I'm only using Docker, I will just click Docker. For the dash V volume, we already specified this when starting the container. If we look at uh, the images, uh, we can see the image of pertainer pulled from Docker Hub. And if we look at containers, we can see pertainer container, uh, which is this website. This is a more intuitive way to use Docker.